All right, you guys, this is geometry. Uh, probably the most important <laughs> math in high school because there is loaded down on the ACT with geometry. This lesson is 1.2, which is points, lines, and planes. And you guys, this is the basis for all geometry. The point, the line, the plane, because you put those three things together and you get figures, two-dimensional figures and three-dimensional figures and everything that goes along with that with geometry. So this is one of the very important lessons that we do in this class. Uh, we're going to be talking about the point, the line, the plane, obviously, because that is what the lesson is all about. But that includes space, collinear, coplanar, and intersection. You're going to hear these words quite often in your geometry class simply because everything is a building block in this class. Everything is from day one on through the entire semester. All right, let's get on to it. All right, there we go. The point, the line, the plane. A point basically is where you are in a room. If you're at home, sit on your couch watching TV, you are a point in that room. Uh, you are in a location, you know, no size, no shape. You know, it's a dot in geometry class, but it is with a capital manuscript letter. The capital cursive letter stands for something else. So it's important you understand it's a capital manuscript letter. In this example right here, this is your point and it's labeled with an A. Put two points together and you get what is called a line. If you've ever heard someone say the fastest point from A to B is a straight line, this is it. This is line PQ or line QP because it has these two points on it. Doesn't matter the order you put them in. However, you'll see it on the ACT with this nifty little icon here where you got a double arrow on each side. You can also have it labeled by lowercase m. But just to make it easier, line PQ or line QP, easiest one to go with. A uh, plane, a uh, flat surface that extends indefinitely in all directions. Uh, think about your your uh, the room you're sitting in. Okay, you got a floor, right? Uh, that's not necessarily uh, stopping at the room you're in because it might be sitting on a foundation. It goes across the entire length of the, the house you're in or the room you're in. Um, roof. Uh, I guess I really shouldn't say roof. Maybe ceiling should, should have said, you know, said that better. Anyway, flat surface walls, the four walls you're in. Uh, put all those planes together and you get a room. Uh, typically, uh, what we would call in the math world a rectangular prism. So everything builds on itself. Um, had to have at least three points uh, that are uh, to make a plane. Over here, you've got plane K. See how it's a capital, but it's a cursive letter. That's the name of the plane. And there's not going to be a dot there because they're naming the plane. This is point B, D, and C. Or you could say D, B, C, or C, D, B. It doesn't really matter the order of the three letters, but it needs to be three letters. Two for a line, three for a plane. All right, keep it on, keep it on. Got the space down here. Um, it's a uh, a boundless three-dimensional set of all points. So it, it, it doesn't stop. You got the specific space you're sitting in in your room. All right, you got three points that are on the same line. That's what we call collinear points. There it is. Collinear means on the same line. D and E, these points are non-collinear because they're not on the same line. Now, this can be kind of confusing to some people how you would name this line. Remember, it only takes two points to name a line. So this could be line CB or BC, BA or AB or CA or AC. It doesn't matter which two you pick, but it has to be two on the same line. I cannot include a D or an E in the name of this line because D is not on the line and E is not on the line. They are non-collinear points. Coplanar means on the same plane. One more time, this S over here, it's capitalized, it's cursive. This is the name of the plane. P, Q, and R are all points. They are the name of the plane. You can say PQR, QPR, QRP, P, you know, whatever order the three letters, but it has to take three. Two to name a line, three to name a plane. So I would go with, hey, this is plane PQR or plane S. 
All right, example number one. So we are moving on to the next page of your notes. So everybody go to page four. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, let's see. Page 12 of your consumable notes. This is example number one. It says use the figure to name each of the following. And they want us to, uh, I guess, name a line containing Q. All right, so um, name a line that's on C and any two, okay, any two points. So I can name this line C because Q is on line C. I can name it QT, QR. And you know what? I don't even have to have a Q in the name because it contains the same point. I can name it TR or RT as long as you're picking two points they're on the same line as Q. Um, so you're going to click here. I'm going to go into where geometry is, and I'm going to click this little box that has a double arrow. That's how you name a line. And then any two letters. So I can go with TR. I'm going to hit my right arrow to put a comma. Click it again. I can go with uh, RQ. Right arrow, put a comma. I could have gone with, uh, click it again, QT. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter whatsoever because they're all through on the same line. Again, they are collinear. Go with which two you want to go to. It doesn't really matter. I went with those. All right. Let's see. B, a plane containing point S and T. Okay, well, I need to name a plane, which means I have to have three letters, or the one that's capital and cursive and does not have a dot. So I could have named this plane A. But as you guys can see, multiple choice, this is not an option. All right, so I need them to be coplanar. That means on the same plane. Uh, obviously, this V right here is not in the plane, so I cannot have V in my answer. I can have S, T, R, and Q. Any three of those four in the name of the plane, but I cannot have V because, again, V is non-coplanar. It's not in the same plane. So I'm going to cross off the one that has a V in it. Uh, so this looks like this one's possible. This one is not because it has a V. This one's not because it has a V. And this one, uh, okay, it's not, has a V. So the only choice I have left, process of elimination, QST. Q is in the plane. S is in the plane. T is in the plane. They are non-collinear, but they are coplanar because they're on the same plane. Oops, sorry about that. All right, moving on. Example number two at the bottom of the same page. Let's see what we got here. Uh, name the geometric terms modeled by the objects in the picture. The notebook models, um, well, obviously that's a plane. The edges of the notebook model lines. Uh, absolutely. So we got JK, which is this line. We got KL, which is that line. And JN or NJ. You can go with either one. Either one. Quarter models point, uh, that would be M, point M, and that needs to be a capital letter. Anything that's lowercase is the name of a line. All right, points N, L, K, and K. N, L, and K are, uh, yeah, it's coplanar because they're on the same plane. All right, and points P, Q, and R, P, Q, R, there they are. Um, that's collinear, they're on the same line. And I can't spell today. O L L I N E A R. I'm right. There we go. All right. So if you want an extra example, you can go online and get that. There's also an activity online. And it looks like I'm ready to move on to the next page. All right. Moving on. Looks like I'm on uh, page 13 of your practice. All right. We've got an intersection. Okay. Guys, an intersection is when. Uh, two or more objects basically meet each other. They have something in common. So think about when you're driving your vehicle, um, you have to come to a stoplight or a stop sign. You're at the corner of an intersection. Um, same thing in geometry. We call it an intersection because lines meet or planes meet. Something is meeting. They have something in common. All right, let's see. Example number three. All right, looks like this one's done for us. 
we got line QR here and line ST intersecting at U right there. There's a dot. I uh, already got the points on the coordinate plane. Remember the first number is moving either left or right. If it's the first number is negative, you move left. If your first number is positive, you move right. Second number is either up or down. So this second number is your negative. You're going to move down. If the second number is positive, you move up. All right, so let's see. Point V is coplanar. That means on the same flat surface, but not collinear. That means it cannot be on the same line as QR, and V cannot be on the same line as uh, TS. All right, so it looks like that one's already done for us. All right, so there's a check for you guys to figure out. More than likely, the teacher's going to do this with you in class, but same concept. You're going to draw these points, J, K, L, and M, connect J with K with the line, and connect L with M on the line. Make sure Q is coplanar. That means in this squared area for the coordinate plane, but not collinear. That means you don't put it on the same line as J, K, and L, and M. So it'd be very, very similar to something like this. Just make sure it's not on the same line because that would be collinear. You want it to be non-collinear. All right, you need another, another example. You can go online to get that. The reason why I'm not doing this one is because if I click, nothing happens. And um, I've got a tablet, and I'm waiting on my administrator to put in a password so I can link that up, hopefully be able to annotate some of these things that the computer won't let me do. All right. So I'm going to turn the page. We're in example number four. All right, so we're on page uh, 14 of your manual. All right, example four, how many planes appear in the figure? All right, this actually gets my students all the time, you guys. It is almost like a trick question. You're looking for all the flat surfaces, but remember a plane is flat and extends indefinitely in all directions. So this little pentagon down here, C, G, F, E, and D, it's the same plane as P, this big plane here. It's not any different because this plane that is a pentagon is going to extend and this p is like the floor of you know like i said your your house it does extend past the wall because you do have a foundation and it extends indefinitely so this is one plane then you've got agc or cag for that matter that's that triangle that's in the back you got the triangle that's in the back on the right side and that's going to be GFA. Uh, so there are six of these. This is the one on the bottom, one on the back left, one on the back right. There's three. This one right here, AFE. That's in the right side. Um, CAD, that's on the left side. And uh, the one that is the closest to you, AED. And I'm putting these all capital letters because they're points, and it takes three to make a plane. So there are six planes, and we named all six. All right. Part B, name four points that are collinear. Collinear means on the same line, and they give me HI. So there's H and I. If I keep on going on the same line, we've got C and F. So capital C for point, and capital F because it's a point. All right, part C, name the intersection of plane GAC and plane P. All right, where's GAC? GAC, oh, this is a back triangle right there, and it intersects the big plane at the bottom. Well, again, intersection has to be where they have the same points, and since C and G are both in this triangle and in plane P, that's your intersection. Um, and it is needs to be a line, so yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go to Geometry, click on this little icon right here that has a line, and it needs to be either CG or GC. doesn't matter, but it does have a little line on top, so you can put GC, and that's correct. All right, let's see what is up next in Section D. All right, let's see, at what point do line JI and DC um, intersect. JI and DC. JI is right there. DC is right. Oh, they don't intersect. 
Yeah, JI is straight up and down. DC runs this way. These are what we call skew lines, you guys. S K E W. You're going to learn this term later. Um, it's not in this lesson, but skew means they're not parallel, but they don't touch either. And these lines are definitely skew. So uh, does they do not appear. They do not appear to intersect because um, they're skew. They're they're not parallel. Um, only one point. Let's see. Um, JP laws of plane P. Where do they intersect? So there's JI. Plane P. Oh, it intersects at I because it runs straight through the plane. J is above. This little dashed line means that it's part of the line you can't see because of the flat surface. So it's underneath, shooting down below. So the intersection is I. It needs to be a capital letter because it is a point. There we go. All right. All right, so we got to check for understanding. All right, this one is actually going to let me put something in. Refer to the figure, name three points that are collinear. Again, it means on the same line. Well, DC, I can't use this. There's only two points. Uh, H is only two. HG is only two. FG only two. EF is only two. The only one that has three is A, D, and B. A, D, and B. Otherwise, you could have put... BDA for that matter. It doesn't really matter the order you put them in. Well, let's see what this is. Oh, this is not in your notebook. I'm not sure what this is. I'm uh, just talking about dimensions. Circles two-dimensional, pyramids three-dimensional. Okay, uh, three-dimensional. This is a, an example of a plane intersecting another plane. We got plane T, we got plane S. They are crossing each other. And actually, that, that's a really good example of how they cross at a line because they're meeting at more than one location. It meets all the way across it comes here. So they intersect at a line for two planes. Um, okay. Let's see. It's like that's the end of that page. Oh, no, it's not. I just had to move on to the next, for example, number five. All right. Aviation, a biplane, has two main wings that are stacked one above the other. Struts connect the wings and are used for support. Flying wires run diagonally from the main body of the plane to the wings and between the stacked wings. Complete the statements regarding the geometric terms modeled by the biplane. Okay, each wing models a, uh, well, I, I would assume that's probably a plane. Uh, P-L-A-N-E, because they are flat surfaces. And the intersection of a strut and a wing models. So there's my strut, and there's my wing. Um, they they intersect at a point. It's at because it's at one location, right? Crossing of two flying wires models. Oh, it's also going to be a point. I would think there's a flying wire. There's a flying wire. They intersect at one location. That's going to be a point. All right. Uh, if you need another example, you can go online. And ladies and gentlemen, that is that's it for the notes. The next thing up is your practice. And uh, yeah, good luck with that. If you have any questions, let me know.